Hey everyone, how you guys doing out there? Thanks very much for joining me this evening. Although it's this evening in Ireland and it's probably in the afternoon in America. Um, likewise in the UK. Let's put the notifications on silent. Right, let's have a look and see who we've got. Right, coin collectors here. We've got uh, Bullion Bouncer, Boss Killer. Says Limey is late. To his own live stream. <laughs> Let's have a look at Arnie C. Arnie C's here. We've got uh, Mel's Coins Corner. Steve Rice. Uh, we've got Olive uh, Obelisk. Obviously, I posted a few of the videos earlier um, while I was out and about. Uh, the Yupa Girl. She's here as well. We've got uh, 10 watching, 13 likes already. That's fantastic. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Should be able to. We've got Andre G's here as well. Silver silver Tracker. Vintage of yesterday. We've got Bradley Bradley Height. So it's good afternoon. So I presume it's probably in America. Where he is. Let's have a look. We've got um, Andre G. Just post where you guys are from there if you don't mind. Um, whether it's state or US. It'd just be interesting to see. I'm in Dublin. <laughs> so we got Germany, we got Las Vegas, we got USA, we got uh, Missouri, Louisiana, then we got Michigan. Yupicon says Michigan, awesome. Have you uh, picked up any other? But Canadian coins there, uh, Yupa Girl. Do you have any Canadian gold just out of interest? That seems to be quite uh, quite an expensive one. we got Jeremy Saunders, says Wales. We won today. <laughs> That's uh, Steve Rice, says Tennessee. Boss Killer says no need to draw. I think we all know who's going to win all the prizes. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Well, I think the uh, the rugby. I, I think you were always going to beat Scotland. To be honest, uh, con congratulations, uh, Jeremy. The, the Upicol says I'm waiting on some as we speak, as well as a, a, tra uh, a Trajan denarius. No Canadian gold. I wish. Yeah, I was having a look on. Um, I'm going to start um, beefing up my sort of gold collection, and I was looking on there yesterday. But it seems like the Canadian sovereigns and that are just ridiculous money. And um, I'm just trying to keep everything as sort of sensible as possible um, and try and get as close to spot as you possibly can. Uh, Coin Collector says gold! <laughs> Exclamation mark. Yeah, I picked up, uh, I've got an unboxing video that I need to upload and I picked up some gold. And uh, I'm going to try and get gold in every purchase that I buy, whether it's a small piece. I'm going to work in grams, but I'm going to try and get as close to spot as I possibly can. Um, Sheffield Stephen Heath, cool. How you doing, Stephen? So Boskulus says seriously though, I want that maple leaf. <laughs> uh, which one? Uh, yeah, of the uh, is it the in the incuse? Or just the standard one? Still lovely though. And then we've got the two copper rounds as well. I've just I picked up a few extra bits today, which I'm going to include in all these. Um, I've got some Irish pennies, so um, the first two silver prizes are going to get an Irish penny in each one. Uh, you can see the Irish harp on there. I could only get 1940s pennies, unfortunately. Um, so they'll go with the silver coins. I presume that's probably some kind of turkey or chicken or something like that, I think. Uh, that's Irish for a penny. Don't, don't ask me how to pronounce that. That was in 1948. And then the two coppers, uh, the two copper rounds, I've got these half pennies. Uh, 1953, I couldn't get it. That was the only one I can get. The, this, this is the only 1940s I can get, 1946. But um, on the Irish coinage, the, the first ones, they just had animals in regards to what they showed on their coinage. So they had um, 
So we have the pig for the half penny. I presume that's some kind of chicken or something. Um, I presume. <laughs> and then they had uh, on the threepence there was a rabbit. And then there's the sixpence. Um, what did I have on the sixpence? I'm not really. I'm not sure what they had on the sixpence, but the shilling was a bull. And then there was the florin had the fish, which was two shillings. The two and six was the horse. Uh, they never did crowns. Uh, crowns, uh, ten shilling pieces. So that was mainly their main, the main coinage. So those will go with the silvers, the two pennies, and then we've got the, the two half pennies there. Uh, let's see if we can fit them in. Here you go. I'll stick them on that side. And I've got a giveaway for the stream. This is a ninety percent silver standing liberty. Somebody won this in the in the in the five hundred gore and uh, said to pay it forward. So I've still got it. Um, I got a standing liberty from International Stacker. Um, so I'm going to give this one away, which is the one I found in Ireland. Um, I found this in the. Uh, uh, where did I find this in Galway? There was a guy with a. I was looking for some coins, and um, he just he had like a coffee cup, and he just tipped it out on the table, and then this was there as well, and I was like, "Oh, standing liberty, that's a bit unusual." Um, so yeah, I'll be giving this away. This will go to the chat. Ninety percent silver. Um, let's have a check. Sorry, there's a couple of questions here. Um, got my Apollo Eleven proof and a couple of Captain Americas last week. Yeah, I saw the uh, the Marvel collection. I haven't really bothered with, to be honest. That yeah, it's like twenty two euros each or something, just on average, and some of the prices have gone up to twenty five. So, um, probably a bit late for me. I probably should have started the collection to begin with. Probably at the beginning. Um, so I'll, I'll be passing on that one. Uh, Silver Wolverines here. We got Big Bank, Little Bank, Arnie C, Kevin Rose, um. Silver so Limey 79 has gold, <laughs> rich bugger. <laughs> I had some bad news from the NGC. My 1959 one cent uh, got AU detail, environmental damage. Oh, that sucks. No ways, man. Did, um, didn't you have a. Um, you, you were also sent. Did you send that barber? You were going to send that barber through as well, if I'm not mistaken. Still about uncirculated isn't isn't that bad for that age um, coin collector. We've got metal metal sharks is here as well. Uh, just give me a minute there, guys. Yeah, picked up um, in that unboxing video, which I'll upload shortly. I picked up the uh, the Yale of uh, Beaufort or Beaufort, however you want me to pronounce that. Um, so that's that two ounce Queen's Beast, and uh, this was the the gold piece I picked up. It was a, f a Mexican five pesos. So uh, there's a um, spoiler for you. This is four point one one six grams. 90% silver, so 21.6 carat. 3.75 grams of gold weight. But uh, this was 6 euros over spot, which I thought was fantastic, so that's the main reason why I got it. <laughs> Boss killer. The gentleman on the back, his name is um, Hidalgo. He was the guy that led the uprising against the um, the Spanish authorities. In the early 1900s, uh, late 1800s, and eventually they won their independence. He was captured a couple of years later after inst instigating it and um, executed. But yeah, um, it's a lot of Wow. Uh, Con, Con Collector says, great value. Absolutely. I've, I've absolutely scoured the entire list to see if what best value I could get for as close as to spot as I possibly could. Um, cause tell you what, man, some of the stuff I, I was look, look, looking there, I think a quarter ounce Krugerrand was 30 euros over spot. I thought that was a heck of a lot. And, um, and then I was looking at a 10th ounce and even a 10th ounce was 18 or 19 euros over, actually it was 15 euros over spot. Um, and then that one there was seven, so I was at the six, so I was like, yep, I'll go for that. In fact, it might've been less, it might've been five euros. Ah, anyway. Um, 
Dos Killer says he's got the Dos Pesos. Um, yeah, that is um, funny enough. Uh, uh, the Dos Pesos and the Five Pesos was the uh, were restruck from uh, some of the dates. You just got to check the 1955 dates in the Five Pesos were restruck um, till '72 or something like that. So more than likely, that's more than likely a restrike, and then they were restruck again in the '90s. But I mean, gold's gold at the end of the day, so. Uh, probably the same with the dos peso. Apparently, they were they were restruck with the forties date. Um, you just got to check. Uh, New Mister is brilliant. If you guys have ever checked the New Mister website, if you're typing in a coin, you want to know what the value is, or um, you know what the content, what the detail is. The New Mister uh, website gives you the full detail and even gives you the scrap value too. Uh, really good. We're up to twenty three, which is great. That's awesome. We got nineteen likes. Uh, Kingpin's just saying hello there. And we got Coin Collector says yeah, he sent that barber courser through and made a video on Yes, he did. Sorry, apologies. Um, that was an AU50. Pleased with that one. I'm not disappointed because I thought the one cent was only extremely fine. Well, I'd say, well, that's brilliant. Congratulations there. Big T Coins. Big T Coins is here. Bob the Monk. That's starting to rain outside there. Alex Coinroll Hunter. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Uh, so we've got Sheffield it says uh, yep yeah, he got his Apollo 11 proof are you going to do a video on that Stephen uh, just checking the chat here we've got Big Bank Little Bank uh, he says awesome that's brilliant uh, Bullion Bouncer how is Bullion Bouncer doing today John RMS Lemonade <laughs> Um, I hope you've seen my video promoting your channel bud <laughs> uh, well I've, I've, I haven't been in the house much today um as um i've been doing some sort of scen scenic uh <laughs> tours so i will definitely check it out later though um after the stream um andre g says he's just pre-ordered the 10 ounce dragon and phoenix <laughs> wow that's gonna be an awesome piece is that the 10 ounce gold andre <laughs> <laughs> um so we've got bullion bounces as homo coins made me some money I'm sure they did. Yeah, you were very, uh, you were very chuffed with that one. Um, it seems like the uh, the Simpson series has been uh, doing phenomenally well out there. Uh, let's have a look. We got um, Boskiller says, "Call the way to go for a while." So many people want a premium. Mm. Uh, Big T coins, a vintage. Samantha, Samantha Gilson's here. Just saying hello to everybody as well. Thanks very much for dropping in. Um, yeah, I was looking at the sort of next pieces I want to possibly get. There's the gold uh, two round coin, which is the um, it's a sovereign, um, sovereign weight. It was struck in the 60s um, when South Africa got their independence. Um, so um, from 65, sorry, 61 to 65 was the rarer key dates. I wouldn't say key dates, but the rarer uh, mintages. Um, and there, that's about seven euro above spot. So that's definitely going to be one. And then I'm also looking at the German Empire, Phil Phil Helen the second, twenty mark, which is is only twelve euros over spot, which I think is still pretty good for 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 a coin of, of that age. I think it was nineteen thirteen. Um, so yeah, definitely considering those two, uh, either either of those two, or you know, I might just push myself to get both of them. Um, well, seduced by silver, I think uh, I missed signing up, but I'm excited to see who wins the awesome goal. Yeah, thanks, seduced. Um, I'm not sure there was when I checked earlier, there was 77 comments, uh, unique comments. So um, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, the the entries closed on Wednesday, so we're going to check. Hopefully, if there's any more comments above 77, I went through them earlier on. If anyone's added to it, I'm going to have to delete them. Um, I must say, everyone's been fairly good um, in regards to the comments. Um, no one's posted after the entries were closed. So just thanks very much for that. Um, how was Seduced? Um, how are you doing, Seduced? Do you well? We've got Field Guy 316 says hello. We've got Big T Coins there as well. Um, Kevin Rose. Contact the Hope, I commented, can't remember. I'm not 100% certain they're coin collector, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Oops, sorry, uh, you may have to delete mine. Oh, really? <laughs> well, actually, it'll come up in the uh, in the alerts. Oh, yeah. 
Um, well, look, obviously you had to put um, your favorite video in. So if, if it does come up, um, it, it doesn't include that line, but I can I can delete it. Um, but uh, no bother. Uh, just remember the next one, the 1000 guys, the, the 1000 is going to be the big one. And that is going to be this one here. Now, when I meant the next one, I'm actually going to do another giveaway between now and then. Um, so just keep an eye out. I'm going to surprise you with that one. So it won't be anything, um, it won't be at, at a particular time. I just, um, I'll throw it in the uh, giveaway before the thousand. And then we've got the space red going up as the main prize. And I think a lot of people are excited about that one. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. And Zanu says, yes, you're doing amazingly. How are you, my friend? I am very well. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, well, the weekend. The weekend's been great. Been been a good start. <laughs> um, yeah, and I had an unboxing yesterday, which was great. So some stuff arrived, um, and then I stopped at uh, the local antique shop, picked up a couple of things, um, just to add to the goal. So these pennies and half pennies, and I picked myself up a half crown, nineteen thirty five, um, half crown. It was it's probably worth what I paid for it, so not too bad. Uh, let me check the chat there. Yeah, I was just going through a frenzy. They were doing videos, and like I just had like a fair amount of stuff to do, which is great. Um, not here for the gore. Thanks for showing support. That's vintage, uh, vintage yesterday. Uh, John RMS says, "Coin collector, I am on a ten thousand Britannia buying spree." Wow. Okay. Where do you normally get your gold from, John RMS? Uh, Inkman seventy eight says interesting big tea. What kind? Of, uh, what of pretty thing, you putting in it? Obviously, that's in relation to something he asked. Um, just checked. I did comment in time. There we go. Coin collector says he managed to get his comment. Um, Phil Gas three one six says uh, um, didn't remember if I entered. No problem at all. But um, entries are closed. Uh, I think it's probably the best way to do it. So you don't get um, guys jumping on the wagon uh, as in people who aren't subscribed sort of jumping in on the last minute to, to get their comments in. Not that it's, uh, that that's happened before, but it just gives all my subscribers a chance, the guys who have stuck with me, um, to get their, um, um, to get their, um, their comments in. Uh, big round, shiny, let's see, oh, Mr. Doughboy356 is here. Uh, yeah, congrats on 786 subs, I know, it's mad. Uh, it's like when it's like when you go over 800, that's when the countdown really starts to 1,000. And then you see, you sort of count them backwards. Um, but yeah, it's been, a lot, it's been a long time coming, and um, it's been great to share all the material with everyone out there. And... Um, I was a little surprised with the uh, with the amount of comments in the 750 gold. I mean, I suppose it's a total benefit to yourselves. Um, when I did a unique comment count, so there was only uh, was about 10% um, of my subscribers actually entered the goal. So it was a little disappointing, but you know, I suppose for you guys out there, it's um, more of a chance for yourself to win something. But uh, it would have been great to get a bit more turnout. Uh, but look, I mean, I know. Um, Many people have had issues in regards to notifications. I've had issues with notifications myself. So, you know, it's all of a sudden you'll see a video that was posted two days ago and you're wondering, geez, why, didn't, why didn't I find out about that? I think everyone seems to be having a problem with that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely, Con Collector. <laughs> Stephen Eats says Civil Army 79. He uh, has won the lottery. <laughs> He's on a spending spree. <laughs> Hardly. Um... Yeah, so it looks like John RMS was getting uh, some 10th ounces. Very nice. 25 likes. Oh, we have... YouTube has been neglecting me. Uh, their notifications are missing so many videos of my friends. I may have to clean up my subs and delete everyone I don't watch. <laughs> well, hopefully that won't be me. <laughs> John uh, RMS, uh, not sure coin. I just love him. Okay, that's the 10th ounces, I presume. Oskiller says the lowest mintage in all was the 1887 Morgan dollars with a projected sale price of $300 plus. Wow. And he says, uh, and he says $40. Um, uh, 
Boskin says an MS64. Um, I do have an XF87. Wow, jeez, you got some really good stuff there, Boss Killer. I just checked uh, ink and the bell was turned off. I know I had notifications on. All fixed. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Seduced. Uh, Boss Killer 1887. Uh, big T coins. Uh, you can see what I'm holding up and showing the on the PC. <laughs> big bat, little bat. I just I looked. I guess I forgot to get in the go. Ah, it's no problem, man. Um, just don't miss the next ones. That's for sure. That's going to be the main. That's the one thousand coming up. So that's the main prize for that, and I'll be throwing in some silver as well. Um, so that'll be a big one to watch. Specific. Just to be clear, uh, what I meant. Uh, well, this is what I don't watch is those that, that I subbed. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no longer around. Yeah, I know. I've I've noticed that actually. Funny enough, um, um, like uh, you guys remember Silver Silver Chimp, uh, and funny enough, like, I think pretty much after Christmas they just went they, like nothing. Nothing was going on. Um. So um, I've, 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 some people have fallen away, and um, others, uh, you know, a lot of us just plow on and get our stuff done. I, th I just thought that was quite interesting. Uh, Cigarbuck Silver's here. Awesome. Boss Killer says next goal is a gold goal. I presume that's your goal then, is it? Boss Killer said it's in his mind. Uh, it's all a bit. Uh, just saying hello to everyone there. Uh, right, we're up to 29 watching at the minute, which is great. Um, you guys, um, what do you have in your shopping baskets? Uh, anyone waiting for anything? I've got the um, the two ounce Queen's Beast, uh, the yellow uh, Beaufort, Beaufort. Um, so uh, that's great. I'm, I'm going to do the upload the unboxing video in the next couple of days. Yeah, not really sure on that one, Gone Collector. <laughs> uh, you know what I see? I don't know. Who knows? Could have been someone who couldn't uh, who couldn't put a comment in because it was closed. Todd Miller's here. Yes, the yell uh, for me as well. To Garbuck Silver, yeah. Um, I was meant to ask you, Cigar Buck Silver, do you have any uh, gold um, um, guilders? Not me, I hit like. I just opened some amazing butterflies that Silverback uh, stack of port for me. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's so cool. Seduced. Um, I presume you'd be doing a video of that. Um, be looking forward to that. Yeah, you've, uh, you've got an awesome um, poured silver collection, um, which is great. Andre G says, uh, I wait for Dragon and Phoenix and for the Queen's Beast Yale. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I managed to, uh, I think, I waited, um, it delayed my pack package for a couple of days. Uh, Scarbuck Silver says, yes, he's got the gold 10 and 5 gilder. Uh, I mean, they exist. I don't have them. Oh, right, okay, right. So they do exist, yeah. Because I had a look on Coin Invest and they've got uh, they've got them there, but there's a bit of a premium on them. and um, So, yeah, not for me, but they, they do look nice. Yeah, see how seduced you got an awesome selection there. Um, you always put a very nice uh, layout whenever you do your videos as well. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that um, that name. Um, App uh, Appalachian stacking. I hope that's probably the right the right way to say it. He says he's got the Yale. I just got the bull in the mail today as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, that is probably one collection i probably should have bought more of because the values are just going up on that series the queen's bee series is just phenomenal um i don't know if you guys have seen but regal regal stacker um he, he's he's got quite a few of the queen's bee series and stacks them in tubes but um the the values on them are just, i mean if you think about it, if you bought the lion uh, back when it was in in 2016 um and you bought maybe 10 of them or something like that they're worth uh, like almost 100 euros each now um, compared to probably what 35 euros, um, so they're worth three times the value. Um, just a fantastic series. Um, Stephen Heath says, uh, 20 Yale, two ounce silver, 10 ounce 2019 Valiant. Oh, wow! So you went for the 2019 Valiant, yeah. I wasn't too sure on that one, to be honest. I uh, I thought I'd stick with the first edition, uh, quarter ounce gold Britannia, fantastic. And a one ounce gold Britannia, and then I'm done until the summer. <laughs> yeah, you're basically done for the rest of the year, then, by the sounds of it, uh, Stephen. <laughs> um, so, Goldbuck Silver says, if you want a gold Gilder coin, Limey, I can help you out on that. Uh, like I said, around 5% over spots in the Dutch shop. So, well, that's 
5%. Um, that's not too bad considering. Uh, mommy, sorry. I have to go on my wife. Uh, wife's dinner's ready. Email me later. I still need to send you a sticker if you want one. Uh, anyway, yeah, of course. Absolutely, John RMS. Absolutely, nobody. Blaze and Doob. Hey, Blaze and Doob. How you doing? I'm a sucker for 10 ounce coins. Silver so, Army 79. Yeah, I suppose um, uh, I was looking at, um, I think the Kookaburra, the 10 ounce Kookaburra looked fantastic. And um, there's also Canadian, uh, there's a Canadian 10 ounce maple leaf as well, which is very nice. Uh, Chatty later there, John. Thanks for thanks for dropping in. So we're up to 25 watching at the minute. 32 likes. That's great. Um, did you see the new Simpsons coin at John RMS? Okay. Uh, which one was that, uh, Bullion Bouncer? I'm sure you've probably got that lined up as your next purchase. <laughs> You're probably scouring eBay right now to see if you can pick them up cheap. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Um, crazy how... Some go up so much. Yeah, absolutely, Arnie. Um, it's just a phenomenal series. There must be such a high demand for that Queen's Bee series that um, I wish I'd bought more. Um, you know, it would have been nice to, to have bought like two or three or something like that and then just flogged them off down the line. Um, the new Homer Proof already pre ordered it. From um, Harvester Investments, cool. Okay, so Bullion Bouncer's on the, he's on, um, he's on the clock for that one. Um, I did force myself to buy Silver Panda. I love them things. Yeah, Boscoli, the Silver Pandas are very nice. Um, just, you know, there's a bit of a premium here for them in Europe. So, um, yeah, I've sort of skipped that for now. Um, Got to try and get a few. Of, I might just pick up one at some point, but um, it'll probably be down the line. Same thing with the Libertad. I haven't bothered with a one ounce Libertad. I've got fractional Libertads, as you guys have seen. In fact, I've got a tenth and a quarter ounce video that's going to be going up soon, um, which was very nice. Um, Steve Neath says, uh, yes, uh, I've got all those 10 ounce coins. Well, I told... Oh, I told you a sucker for them, dude. How many 10 ounce coins do you have each? Do you Have you just got one, um, Stephen, or do you tend to buy two, one to flip, and then one to keep? Um... Bully Banter says, yep, says cheers, John. Um, Got to get the first three of the Queen's Beast. Yeah, the, the problem there, um, Appalachian Stacker, is that they're the more expensive ones. You've got the Lion, um, and then you've got the Griffin, and um, what the next one is. Um, what was the next one? Was it the Bull? Uh, I'm trying to think offhand. I can't remember which one the third one is. If someone out there knows what the third one in the Queen's Bee series was, in fact, probably Stephen Heath will probably tell me in a minute. Uh, but yeah, the their uh, the values of I think I think it was the dragon. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it was. Yeah, the third one's the dragon. There you go. So cigar box silver uh, noted it, and even that one I think is like fifty euros now, <laughs> fifty two euros. It's probably about about sixty dollars or something. Um, has the Queen Bee's line and well, that's a bargain. Bullion Bouncer? Bullion Bouncer says Colorado coins on eBay has them for $46.95. Is that after tax? <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be tax on that. Uh, yeah, Stephen Heath conferring, uh, con uh, confirming that the dragon was the third piece. Michael Mullins. Um, I haven't picked the winners yet, but we will be. We're just having a chat. Uh, Bullion Bouncer, Bart should be next. Um, I, I just, I'm hoping... Uh, uh, they have done a variety of characters instead of all the family again. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, okay, Stephen Heath just confirming he's only got the one. And rather than I suppose you'd probably need quite a bit of cash to have like two or three um, stacked. But um, I suppose it's probably better just to go the two ounces, to be honest, um, from a stackability perspective. And also, it'll be far easier to, you know, if someone wanted a two ounce coin, it's probably, you'll probably get easier to sell off. Oh, uh, let's see, Boskiller says, oh, speaking of Libertad, um, I buy my first eight reals. It was 1881. That sounds great. Eight reals. I'd like to see a video on that one. Um, Appalachian stacking. I have the bull, the falcon, and the yell. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, they're the more accessible ones at the minute, but then probably by the end of this year, the bull's going to... I see the bull's price has already gone up. It's in the early 40s now. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, does someone have the error of the Cook Island starfish? Yeah, I, I heard about that one, um, Andre G. Um, I didn't actually look into it, if anyone's got that one. Uh, William Bouncer says, depending on the state, you might be charged tax, but there is uh, free shipping. Jeez, that's pretty good. Free shipping. You don't, you don't get any free shipping this side. Um... Coin collector, what's going to, obviously in regards to the current situation there, um, in regards to getting silver and that into the UK, um, probably by the end of next month, I suppose, it's going to be an interesting time for to see if there's going to be VAT charged on that. Um, Bully Man says, I stay hunting, looking for deals, refuse to pay prices uh, for half this crap. <laughs> Hey you rebel, uh, hey, hey, hey you rebel, hey, um, how you doing, welcome, um, are you getting the the, myth, the, the mythical beasts, um, what is the mythical beasts, is that the uh, Germania series, or the Germ Germania beasts, I presume, or is there, is there a new series now coming out, uh, Boss Killer says I feel so under, uh, undereducated that everyone describing all of these fancy silver rounds and I'm just... Like I got silver town bats. <laughs> I've never seen the silver town bat. I'll definitely check that out if that's a if that's a piece. David Carlisle is here. Hey David, how you doing? I know it's um, in the afternoon there for you guys in America, but thank you very much for taking the time uh, to come in and chat, and we'll get the uh, the draw underway shortly. Um, I have no idea what Brexit will do to silver importing. Okay. Um, Steve Neat says uh, Germania. Yeah, the Germania beast. I'm definitely up for that. Um, I emailed the uh, um, I emailed the Germania Mint in regards to the Dragon piece when that was going to be available. So um, they're saying it's more than likely going to be this summer, uh, but they've given no other details in regards to it. So um, the Dragon, the Fafnir Dragon piece, is going to be the first one coming out, but there's no uh, there's no design for it yet. But um, yeah, that, I'm sure that's going to be awesome either way. But it's going to be interesting to see how they do that piece. Um, did you guys, um, has anyone checked out Coin Sense and Nonsense's latest Apollo um, video? You got to check it out. He's got a he's got an Apollo coin there from was it the Republic of Congo or something like that, Democratic Republic of Congo, and it's got like the like the face of the moon with the crater holes in it, and it's got a U.S. flag that you can actually put into it. It looks absolutely sick. It's like you definitely got to check it out if you guys haven't checked it. Check out Coin Sense and Nonsense. Uh, his latest video that he uploaded uh, definitely worth a look um, for an Apollo coin. It's the there, uh, it's a concave, but it's got like the uh, the moon surface. Brilliant, um, definitely worth a look. Uh, Blake and Dupe says mythical beasts uh, is a thing from the from Good Mythical Mornings on YouTube. <laughs> um, let's go. Metal Metal Shark is here. Kendall Kidd as well. Thanks guys. Thanks for dropping in. Steve Rice. Uh, we got uh, Bullion Bouncer, he says, uh, the Germanian, Germanian beasts uh, are going to be great. I'm sure the prices are going to be ridiculous. Yeah, look, um, I suppose looking at the website and you look at the numbers that these guys are producing, they're not going, they're not doing silly numbers in regards to the pro, uh, the, the amount that they're doing. So um, it is going to be, so buy first issue. The moment you see that release out, that's exactly what I'm going to be buying. The moment that pre-release, the pre-sale comes in, you got you got to get in early. Because I'm sure if you look at the Germania piece, um, their values have just gone up. Um, and I'm sure it's going to be the same when they bring out the Warrior series, um, as well as the um, the G G Germanian beasts um, as well. Like So just keep an eye on that, guys. It's, uh, they, they, they could be very good flippers. Um, so just make sure you've got some extra cash. Um, let's have a look. So uh, JRW3 says, what's up, Lamy? Um, awesome vid on the Trim Castle. Amazing 800-year-old castle still stands. Yeah, it's amazing the... The masonry work, a lot of some of the old buildings, you know, doesn't compare to the stuff that was built, let's say, within the last 50, 60 years, just doesn't last. But yet they can build a castle and it'll stand for 800 years. Um, so the masonry skills are just phenomenal. Um, 
Let's have a look. Uh, Arnie C says another Apollo coin. Yeah, you got to check out Coin Sense and Nonsense. Go check out his uh, his latest video there. It's sensational. Um, and it comes in like a, a a round moon box when you open it up. It's in the shape of the moon. Um, he certainly has an eye for detail, that fella. Um, Cigar Max Silver says uh, it's too toyish for me. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was like yeah, I thought that round box. I thought, wow, that that's interesting. But then when he took when he opened it up and you saw the face of the moon, I was like, wow, um, very interesting piece. Boss Kenny says, Limey, I will be making a video about my eight reels because there is a story behind it why I bought it. Okay, that's that's so cool. I'll definitely watch that. Have you checked out Power Coins website, Silver Limey seventy nine? They have some unreal Apollo coins there. Yeah, I suppose there's loads of mints are going to be getting onto the bandwagon in regards to the Apollo Apollo pieces. So there's going to be loads of Apollo coins. I know Perth Mint is going to be releasing an Apollo coin, which is probably out already, um, which I showed in one of the live stream videos that we did when we have having a look at the Perth Mint coins. Um, and that looked pretty interesting. Um, Doughboy356, uh, today's marks my seven years on YouTube. Congratulations. Wow, seven years. Uh, thanks, Silver Army 79 from across the pond. <laughs> um, Appalachian Stackin says, Are you rebel? Do you know what time Novus is doing the goal for the Lick Coin Challenge? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, for those that saw it, I uploaded my Lick the Coin Challenge in a video earlier. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked that out, you're welcome to have a look at it. Um, well, we're up to 29, guys, so we're going to get the show on the road in a minute. Hopefully, if we can try and get another couple, couple in. Um, they sure are milking this Apollo coin. Yeah, absolutely. Bullion bouncer. I suppose it's like with anything. The moment there's a commemorative coming out, it's like everyone's on the game. <laughs> like they're going to start um, producing these coins. In fact, yeah, I was surprised that the Royal Mint brought out a new Valiant. Um, I thought maybe it's just going to be a once-off, but no, they want to make a series out of it. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I'd rather I'll stick with the first one. But the the the, the twenty nineteen Valiant looks very sort of fresh and in, in regards to the very sharp in regards to the lettering that was probably the only drawback for me is when you look at that piece right here um you can't really make out the writing here that was probably the only flaw really they should have frosted that detail and would have stood out more uh but now on the 2019 piece they've they've got it really clear um just checking the chats let's do says uh glad you didn't choke on that coin <laughs> Hey, did I win anything? <laughs> well, uh, the stacking kid, we're going to be doing the draw in a sec. Um, Arnie C says, off subject, but I've got uh, JM Bullion starter pack. It's a uh, 10 ounce, uh, one, uh, sorry, 10 silver one ounce rounds for $151 and change. That's pretty cool. Sorry, I thought that was, yeah. Um, right before silver went up. Wow, that's awesome. That's a great buy, Arnie. Uh, let's have a look. So we got thirty watching. Cool. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, Boskin says uh, David is here. My chances of winning have fallen dramatically. <laughs> the stacking kid. Uh, no, only twenty nine. Stephen um, isn't a person. What? Oh, there we go. We just hit the thirty. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Really, thirty six likes. That's fantastic. The Farkas. The Farkas is in the house. How are you doing, the Farkas? We got Mel's coins corner. Um, is here as well. We've got Black Steel, Silver New Misman. How you doing? Um, Metal Sharks. Haven't seen it. Um, haven't seen it yet. Cigar, uh, Cigar Buck Silver. But uh, we'll check it out. Sounds like a cool vid. Um, she's supposed to have a great uh, BLK. She's doing great. Okay, so I want to just get the um, let's get the drawer on the show, shall we? Sure you guys have um is anyone working at the moment just out of interest <laughs> working and checking youtube <laughs> oh it looks like we've got three new comments that have been added here let me just go in there and just double check so if someone's added three comments to the um, to the draw. Okay, this is going to make sure. Okay, so the comments haven't included the favorite video, which is great. So we'll skip those. Uh, 
And I'm just going to go in there and just check the. Um, just going to check the comments, guys, just to make sure everything's okay. I don't want any surprises there. Hey, Rimble, good luck, everyone. Absolutely, good luck to you all. And guys, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Um, we'll um, give away that one um, last, but we'll go through. So we'll have first prize, second prize, third prize, and fourth prize. So we'll either do the uh, the couple, one of the couple rounds is going to be the third prize. So it's either going to be the uh, um, Kumatak, uh, Kum, uh, um, or it's going to be the Aztec Dragon. Um, so let's just let's just double check. Just check the comments to make sure everything's one hundred percent. Right, I'm just going to the draw. I'm just going to pause that quick and just check. Make sure. Silver Wolverine. My favourite is the live stream. Oh dear, Silver Wolverine just snuck in there. That explains that comment. So unfortunately, Silver Wolverine, I've got to delete that. Unfortunately, I cannot accept that. Silver Wolverine here, just out of interest. Silver Wolverine. He's always. Uh, I mean, to, to be fair to him, he is. Uh, he, he he does he does come in to my. Uh, he does come into the live stream. Says hello. So again, thanks very much, to Silver Wolverine. Unfortunately, your the comment isn't going to count. Um, but um, I really do appreciate your support, though. Thank you very much for your support, and hopefully, we can catch you for the next one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, Uh, Yupa Girl as well, the Yupa Girl, thank you very much for your comments. Um, unfortunately, uh, you posted after the cutoff date, which was on Wednesday. So unfortunately, I can't count yours, but um, you haven't added the uh, your favourite video in there, but I will have to remove it though. But uh, thank you very much for your support as usual. And I'm just going to go through, looks like we've got a couple here. Sorry, just checking these out, guys. I just want to make sure there's... Um, Nothing is overlooked. To be fair, for those that have uh, that have put their comments in, yeah, I was just saying, yeah, absolutely, you be gone. Thank you very much, though. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, I'm not trying to point fingers at, at all. I'm just saying, thank you very much, though. But uh, I'm just following the rules. Stephen Heath is on uh, Silver Lamy is on fire. <laughs> you because uh, if you need to be paid and the channel can support me. Uh, I'm a day late and the giveaway short. <laughs> That's seduced by silver. Uh, fair enough. Uh, me too, only go. Uh, I've I've won, got lost in the mail. Uh, is that Sherry Nelson? Hello, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I'm just clearing up the uh, the comments there, and I'm going to do uh, just do another double check there to make sure we're on seventy seven. Okay, there's still one more comment in there, so I just need to see what uh, what comment it was. Uh, 
Uh, what was the opening day price for the 2019 Germania Space Red? Um, I think it was. Well, actually, it was the. Uh, it was. It was. It was only available at the Berlin Money Fair. Um, apparently, there was a fella saying that uh, there was a guy on eBay. Um, can't remember. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. I think it was Italian G. He said there's a guy on eBay flogging them, but he says he's got like a hundred. So he must have gone into the Berlin uh, Money Fair and like swooped in and took like a hundred of them, and he's like. <laughs> Putting them on eBay for over two hundred, I think like two hundred and fifty dollars a piece. <laughs> so there's a guy that's uh, that's got his head on straight in there with a sack load of cash, converted them straight into space red Germanias, and then he's put them on eBay. That's hilarious. It's like this new uh, this new studio format for the uh, for YouTube. Jeez, it drives me mad because it's not simple. I don't, all I want to do is just check the comments and have done with it. Like the old the old system was good. Right, so here we go. Uh, one week ago, three days ago, let's see our treasures. That's a good series, that's cool. Three days ago, yep. So anything within three days, well, anything under three days is going to be deleted. Five days. One week ago, four days, four days, six days. It should be down the bottom, so. Sorry guys, I can't see any comments at the minute while I'm just going through here. Just to clear out that um, last comment. I hope you guys keep yourselves busy there. That's one week ago, one week ago. Six days, five days. Let's do another search there. Okay. So I'm just going to do an analytics check for the comments. So look, I've had two pieces lost, and uh, yeah, I've, uh, some people have lost some stuff in the post. That sucks. Busy counting my coins, several times seventy nine. Uh, busy, busy, busy bee. Uh, the blue one is going for two hundred pounds. Yeah. Uh, David Todd uh, and me have won like 50 goals. I won like nine. If that gives you any idea how many of the two have won. <laughs> yeah, guys, sorry to keep you any longer. I am just want to double check comments and then we'll get the door underway. Okay, I'm just going through comments here just to double check everything. Sorry, I'm still here, guys. Good luck, Kendall. Absolutely. Let's have a look. Newest first. That'll uh, probably make things easy. Ah, oh, there we go. The stacking kid. He was. That was the. That was the one. I certainly appreciate it. Stacking kid. Thanks very much for commenting, buddy. Uh, thanks for the support. 
Um, his comment was 200th. <laughs> so that was the uh, that was the last comment, uh, which I'm just going to say thanks very much. Thanks to Stacking Kid. sorted that out. That's it. All right, let's do a comment check. That's it. Cool. We're up to 77. That's brilliant. Okay, guys, we're ready to rock and roll now. How are we doing there? I hope everyone's been, uh, hope my moderators have been keeping everyone in check. <laughs> are you writing a book live yeah well i was just double checking the comments buddy so um before i started the live stream there was 77 comments which is exactly what we're going to do here um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you we'll have a look at the video so you you guys can be 100 percent sure that i'm copying and pasting the right link okay so here it goes. Right, so this is what we we'll do is we'll do the first prize first. Turn that away. There you go. As you can see, the title there. Obviously, you guys know my face there. How you doing? <laughs> um, so there we go. There's the title. So we're going to click on share, copy link. And then we're going into this section here. comment picker and then we're gonna delete it and then we'll re-enter it paste and then we'll go check comments 77 that's exactly what was there before we started uh, so you guys ready for this okay so this is first prize so we're gonna start off with this one here this beauty so it's the Incus, one ounce Canadian maple leaf. I wish everyone the best of luck. And again, thank you guys so very much for supporting me um, as we approach that 1,000. And um, I'll keep making the content. You guys keep watching it. I'll keep making it. Right. Okay, so here we go. This is it. Um, good luck, everybody. So let's do it. Well, let's, there we go. Start raffle. Pick a winner. Okay, here we go. This is for the first prize. Silver Mac. There it is. Silver Mac. It says, congrats on the 750 subs, my friend. Well deserved. 1,000 just around the corner. Hmm. Okay, and Silver Mac, unfortunately, he missed something crucial. Um, and that was to include... He had to include one of my favorite videos or a video from my library which unfortunately he has not included and that was part of the rules so unfortunately we're going to be picking another winner so silver mac unfortunately you missed out there buddy you uh, the rules stated you had to include a video from my library uh, but yeah thank you very much for the support though i appreciate it but you're welcome to check the rules there um, you have to comment um one on a one of the favorite videos so silver mac i would love to give you that prize buddy but uh the next scores are coming up there's going to be another one and then there's also the big thousand so keep that in mind uh we'll probably follow the same format as well so let's do pick another one let's do it okay so we're going to pick another winner good luck everybody okay first prize boom david carlisle and I think he was in the I think he was in the stream. Let's see what he says. He says, nice prizes, Silver Limey 79. Uh oh, there we go. He says, I 
I will that my favorite is at the Dublin airport with international stacker. So there you go. He's listed the video as a requirement. David Carlisle, are you still in the stream, buddy? <laughs> so tell me, what does it feel like when you actually see your name getting drawn up for something <laughs> in a live stream, buddy? Congratulations. So you're going to be getting the, uh, the incused um, silver maple leaf. Congrats, David Carlisle. David Carlisle, congratulations, bud. Put that down for a sec. So you'll be getting this Canadian maple leaf, the incused. Beautiful condition. One of my favourites. And then I'll also be including one of these one pennies. That's the Irish, uh, the Irish penny. So I'll be including one of them as well. Let's see what David said there. What did David say? David said, so cool. There you go. I'm going to grab some envelopes quick. All right, David. Let's get this written down. So we've got David Carlisle. Uh, David, what I'll do is I'll drop you an email. Uh, in fact, drop me an email. I'll... Um, that is my email address, silverlimey79. Drop me an email there, and I'm going to give you a password to put in as a comment on one of my videos just to make sure that is you. So, David Carlisle. That's totally misspelled your surname there, David. <laughs> we'll do that again, shall we? David, and then Carlisle. David, there you go. So that's your envelope there. Let me put that in the envelope. Uh, and I'll put your penny in there as well. That's for David. And then we've got second prize. There we go. Are you guys ready for the, for the next draw? Congratulations, David. Um, awesome, buddy. Congratulations, that is such an awesome prize. Um, just going to check the comments here. So we've got Stephen Heath. He says, I have a tube of those uh, in, in -cuse. He says, excuse maples, but I'm he, I'm sure he, I know what he means, in -cuse. So I'm glad I didn't win that one. <laughs> He's got too many, apparently. Um, let's say Moose Socks is here as well. Hey, Moose Socks, how are you doing? Uh, uh, Ronald Thump uh, just witnessed the, uh, the greatest wealth transfer. Uh, that's interesting right let's keep it going so we're going to pick another winner second prize there it is and so let's go this is for the one ounce standard maple leaf so good luck to everybody and let's get it on the row so what who do we have here boom samantha gilson congrats on reaching 750 subs my favorite video of yours is my top 10 silver bullion coins in 2018. Love your collection. There you go, Samantha. And I think Samantha's there. Samantha, are you in the live stream? I know she was in there earlier. That'd be awesome if she's there. Samantha Gilson. Congratulations. Yeah, she's there. Oh, that's awesome, Samantha. Yeah, I'll certainly do that. Sorry, um, uh, David. Samantha Gilson, congratulations, you've won that one ounce of a maple leaf. Uh, you listed the video, which is uh, your favorite out of my lot. Uh, so she says, thanks so much, the Valley 79, congratulations. Wow, that's so cool. Um, there you go, you've got a one ounce piece that's going to be headed your way. Uh, there's my email address there, silverlimey79 at gmail.com silverlimey79 at gmail.com and then i'll um send you a password to put in on one of the videos just to make sure that is that is you part of the verification process samantha 
Samantha, congratulations. That's awesome. That's a maple. Okay, so there you go, Samantha. That is your envelope there. Put your. I will put it in a. Um, I've got these these pouches. I will be putting it in one of these pouches. So and there's your one penny as well, the Irish penny. I'll be including that as well. Right. So there you go. That's the first two. The uh, the, the two ounces of silver has been uh, been done there. Uh, that's awesome, everyone congratulating Samantha, that's fantastic. Um, Boss Killer says, oh Silver Mac, your name was drawn first, but you didn't put your favourite Limey video. Yep. Uh, Silver Mac, did, did he just drop in? Silver Mac, man, you, you, I drew you first, but you didn't put your, you're supposed to put your, your favourite video in my library. And that's one of the the uh, the prerequisites. Um, but I, I certainly appreciate the support, buddy. Um, but yeah, just um, it's a it's a pity. <laughs> but um, hopefully you'll uh, you'll you'll get on the next one. Sorry, so your name was drawn, but unfortunately you didn't list your favourite silver army, so so you didn't win that. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, right, so we've got the the ounce the coppers now. We'll do the copper draws. So we've got the Kumatak. He's the uh, the last um, Aztec emperor. Uh, these copper rounds are just lovely. I love these. And there's the Aztec one. So uh, we might make the. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. I suppose. Which one do you think? Um, which one should we do? Which one should be third prize? Do you want the Aztec dragon? For those that want the Aztec dragon, put one. Or uh, for the third prize, or put two for the uh, for the Aztec emperor down as third prize, and I'll uh, choose one out of them. Oh. See, David Lyons says I just needed the, the Gmail pass. Okay, cool. Read. I did put your favorite video on your video. Better look again. Uh, just give me a sec, guys. I'm pretty sure I read that out. And. Uh, Silver Max says, congrats, buddy. Well-deserved thousands just around the corner. That's what you put there. Just check there, number 843. 8 minute and 43 seconds. The comment says, congrats on 750 subs, my friend. Well-deserved thousand just around the corner. That's what the comment says. That's what That's what's been pulled here. Silver Mac, congrats on 750 subs, my friend. Well deserved. 1,000 just around the corner. Eight minutes. Eight minutes, 43 seconds. It's not there. You can see it. I've drawn the comment. That's what's been put. It's clear as day. Yeah, but the comment doesn't state that. Silver Mac, it's clear as day. What does that say to you? <laughs> I must reread it. It says, congrats on 750 subs, my friend. Well-deserved thousand just around the corner. Well, what's the point commenting underneath it? It doesn't show Silver Mac. Okay, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do the Aztec Dragon next. Okay, so that'll be third prize. Okay, 
Thundercats. Well, we draw the Aztec Dragon next, so don't forget we've got the half pennies that go with those. And then we've also got the one ounce. Right, let's go. Okay, so everyone voted one, so the, uh, we'll definitely do the Aztec, the Aztec Dragon next. You should have put that comment in the main comment, Silverback. Anyway, okay, let's let's move uh, let's move along, shall we? Okay, so we go back into live mode. Okay, so we're hasty. It's okay, but I follow the rules. Uh, yeah, but you should have put it in the main comment. The, the the random comment picker doesn't doesn't take into account all the other comments below it. <clears throat> okay, so let's do the. Okay, so the next one is the Aztec round. Okay, so let's. Okay, you guys ready for third prize now? Okay, so I'm going to do the one ounce, uh, the, Az the Aztec round. Everybody ready for that one? Okay, Boss Kinder says yes. Okay, so Garbox Silver says he's ready. Right, let's do it. Okay, so this is for the Aztec round. This will be the Dragon round coming up next. So let's see who we got. Rick Two Tom says thanks for the sub SL subbed you back. I'll skip the goal. Okay. <laughs> so he must have commented after I went and deleted all those messages. Great. Okay. So uh, yeah. Anyway, Rick, um, thanks very much for the comments. Uh, since I'm new, catching up on your vids. <laughs> well, like I, re I really appreciate you uh, putting your comments in. There was really no need to. But um, again, thanks very much uh, for your for your comments. I'm gonna pick another winner there. CNR Treasures, congrats Silver Limey on 773 subs. Awesome goal. My favourite uh, was the shout out initiative. That was a very good series. Okay, brilliant. There you go. So the shout out video that I did, that was a very good series. So congratulations, CNR Treasures. Congratulations. You've certainly put your favourite video there. And you've got that Aztec Dragon round. There it is. And then we've also got the, this is the Dragon, this is the Copper round. World of Dragons. Okay, so that is C and R Treasures. Congratulations, buddy. C and R Treasures. Nice detail. I absolutely totally agree with you there, Blazing Doom. The detail on that is just fantastic, man. <coughs> C and R Treasures. I don't think C and R Treasures was in. Um, actually, the uh, C and R Treasures might have been there earlier on. Congrats, C and R Treasures. Absolutely. Awesome C and R. <laughs> Moose socks. I love those things. Just going to check the comments here. So we've got congratulations, C and R treasures. Honey C.
Way to go, bro. There you go. So uh, if anyone sees seeing our treasures at some point, just tell, let him know that uh, that he's won something on my channel. So he's got the copper round. And then, of course, he's also got this half penny um, Irish coin. See if we can get a bit of light on that. There it is. Looks like a pig with a cup with a few piglets there. <laughs> and this was 1946 with the Irish harp. Okay, so that'll be going your way there. So there you go. You can see it there, putting that in the envelope. There we go. So we've got those three there, and then we've got this one here. Then we finally got we got that 90% uh, silver for the chat. Uh, is everyone doing this? So I can hear Mrs. Limey uh, will be getting. Penny or piney? Is it piney or something, is it? Uh, I, I don't know what you mean by that symbol. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. Uh, see, not is Please send an email to. There we go. Thanks very much for that, please, dude. Certainly appreciate that. That's my email address again there. So we've got silverlimey79 at gmail.com. Uh, that's my email there, and then I'll send you a password. Just comment in um, the latest video in regards to that comment, which I will give you the password on. Uh, piney, piney apron, okay. Mr. Doughboy356 says, why is there a peanut butter in the honey? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mellow Stacker, how you doing, buddy? You well? Right, let's do fourth prize now. Okay, so fourth prize. Let's get ready to pick another winner. Let's go. Right, this is for the fourth prize. This is the fourth final big prize. So we got Metal Sharks. As a newbie to the channel, I've only watched a few of your videos to date. My favourite so far is Needful Things, as it gave me key ideas for items needed to get more into coin collecting and perhaps even one day stacking. There you go. Metal, Metal Sharks has listed it absolutely bang on. Uh, congratulations, Metal Sharks. Uh, yeah, you were in the chat earlier on. Uh, you've got fourth prize, so Metal Sharks. Uh, congratulations. Um, new subscriber as well. <laughs> so this is coming your way. Kumatak, uh, last emperor of the Aztecs. And the uh, Aztec calendar. Round in copper and then I've also got the half penny for you there so metal sharks is metal sharks there is metal sharks in the house still never know you might be listening metal sharks metal sharks yep metal sharks is there holy smokes that's a holy smokes this is the first goal I've ever won congratulations bud um Aztec dragon Dragon. Sorry, I'm just making a note here on the previous prize, the Aztec Dragon, just so we know what's what. And uh, that's the um, Aztec Emperor. Yeah, congratulations there, bud. You can replay it a couple of times if you want there, Metal Sharks. <laughs> there you go, Metal Sharks. That one's for you there, bud. So congratulations on that. So those are the main prizes are gone. Boom. Metal Sharks take Emperor around. And we got um, CNR treasures, Aztec, uh, Aztec dragon, Samantha Gilson, Maple Leaf. We're going to be sending the silver's going to be registered, and we send the uh, the coppers there, normal normal mail. David Carlisle, Incus Maple. So yeah, those are the top prizes that have been won. There it is, Metal Sharks. Congratulations, there, bud. I'm sure you must be happy about that. Like the Metal Sharks, please send an email. Yep. Thank you again. That's my email address, silverlimey79 at gmail.com. Uh, there is verification purposes or verification procedure. Um, and then I'll give you a password to put in uh, to comment just to make sure that is you. 
Um, that's a cool idea. We'll be sending you an email soon. Oh, happy day. Yep. Can we do trivia for? Yep. We. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Um, the guys, do you want trivia or? Um, we can do a letter, number, something like that, if you like, for the uh, Standing Liberty. What do you think? Um, do you want trivia or a number? Or, or, or we can. Um, I can do. I can select people off the. Uh, we can do. <laughs> we can do a random comment picker, um, but only for those that are in the chat. So um, I remember I did this um, cigar box silver on though. I did that. Um, I think at the five hundred goal for the last prize, we just kept tapping the uh, the pick the winner until somebody was actually in the in the in the live stream, which it was it was pretty hilarious. I think he really got a kick out of that. Oh yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> so we can either start all over again and uh, get the random comment picker. Um, and then just pick someone out randomly. Otherwise, we can do trivia or a number. So, what do you? What would you prefer? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I wouldn't go quite as far as taking now, but it was long. Random comment picker sounds good. Boss Killer says. Uh, it's up. Trivia says Moose Socks. Um, Doughboy three five six says random. Steve Rice says random. Say random picker again. Okay, so it looks like. There we go. Random. So it's going to be random picker by the looks of it. Say random picker again. Oh, there we go. Stephen E says trivia. Let's do it. Boss, boss killer. Okay, so we're going to do the random picker. So we're going to start all over again. And um, it'll be funny if we pick up someone straight away. Who's actually in the chat? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Pure pressure. There we go. The cigar box says tradition. Okay, so we're going to do a random picker for this one. You have to be in the chat, though, to win this one. So we're going to do a random picker. And hopefully, if you're there, um, and in the chat, you'll win the you'll win the piece. So, are we agreed on that? So, I'm going to reset it. But we're going to do a reset. Get YouTube comments. Okay, that was that one that other fella had. Uh... All right, should we? Um... There's 78 comments. Initially, there were 77. Should I delete that latest one? Even, uh, or should I just leave the 78 in there? That was that um, one fellow who we went over. I can't remember what his name Root. I think it was Root. Nah. Run with it. Okay, cool. All right, run with it. Delete. Oh, ooh, delete it. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. There's some. Run with it. Hmm. Delete. <laughs> That's three for delete. Two more, two more to do it. Oh, delete. Okay, sorry. I have to give me a few minutes while I go in there. And uh... okay, so I'm gonna have to go in. Actually, hang on. I should be able to see it. Cheapest. Okay, hang on. This could take a while. Let's do a new link. Right. Okay. So we go into. You have to just keep keep yourselves busy there. I'm sure. Um, this is funny how that happens uh, to someone so often, but there's nothing they can do, even though it's a federal charge. I wonder what that all that's about. Uh, Jesus, so seven up to seven hundred eighty-eight subscribers. Well, thanks very much for for those who um, hit that subscribe button. See, we've got 18 in the chat. Okay, so um, a few people have left. Let's just check these comments out. Sort by newest, newest first. Oh, that was uh, Black Steel. Okay, Black Steel, if you're still there, thanks very much for commenting, buddy. I really appreciate it, but unfortunately... Um, the pinned comments at the top, you had to submit a comment there before Wednesday last week. So unfortunately, I'm um, going to have to delete that one. But yeah, the uh, Irish LC, uh, LCS disaster was pretty funny. Okay, let's try that again. There we go, this comment's gone. So if it shows 77, that's it, we're on the ball. 
Okay, so we're all ready. Ready to do it. Uh, let's see, Stephen, um, Stephen E says I'm counting my silver again. <laughs> I thought you were counting your silver up earlier. Silver Heist. Hey, Silver Heist, how are you, buddy? Thanks for dropping in here. Uh, well, yeah, you're, you're probably and Julian Bullion, so there's a couple of extras that have dropped in. So there's a there's probably another four people have dropped in. If your name gets pulled here on the random common picker and you're in the live stream, you're going to win that 90% silver um, standing liberty. Okay, so I've got the comments ready to go, and we're going to pick a winner. So shall we do it? So let's see. Whoever's in the chat, your name gets pulled here, wins the prize. If you're not in the chat, uh, you don't win the um, the uh, the um chat prize so do it right first name to pop up is boom mellow stacker is mellow stacker there i think he is actually <laughs> is mellow is mellow stacker there oh there you go sorry guys first name out of the gates <laughs> <laughs> And funny enough, he even lists the uh, the video. So straight up there, guys. <laughs> that was that cigar box silver. Um, yeah. Well, there you go, Mellow Stacker. You got it, buddy. That's the ninety percent silver. That's all yours. That's the uh, Type Three Standing Liberty. Jeez, how how's that? I mean, the other day uh, or the last the last goal we did, I think we must have gone through about fifteen to twenty names. But Mellow Stacker, you got it, buddy. Mellow Stacker. A Mellow Stacker for the comment pr uh, stream prize. Outstanding liberty. Mellow Stacker, congratulations, man. Um, drop me an email. That's my email address there, silverlimey79 at gmail. I'll give you a password to put into the comments on this video. So once the video is uploaded and you're able to comment, drop that password in there. Uh, that way I'll know it's you linked to your to your name. Um, wow, there you go. And there's your little pouch. I'll be sending that to you there. Stream prize, standing liberty. Ah, so those are the five prizes that have been given out. We're going to go over them. We're going to go over them now, just before we wrap up, guys. Mary Love is here. Hey, Mary Love, thanks very much for being in. Mellow Stacker, uh, I've never won silver in a goal. Well, congratulations there, bud. Um, you won the stream prize and straight straight out the gate. Uh, I was amazed. I thought we were going to be going on for a little bit longer. Um, uh, Sherry Nelson says, uh, you did today, uh, Mellow Stacker. Never say never. Absolutely, guys. Um you might win when at least when you least expect it. Funny enough, I won Regal Stackers giveaway um, a few days ago. Um, my name got pulled, and I was like uh, like flabbergasted. That and he was giving away five ounces of silver, and um, I was like shocked because <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. Normally, oddly enough, whenever if if I do win, I've only won two goals, and um, I won Silver Stangers goal, and now with Regal Regal Stackers goal, and um, they've both been fairly I say big prizes. There was a two ounce um, silver round that that I won for silver stangers, and then it was the the five ounces there of uh, regal regal stackers. So yeah, it's um, very very interesting. Funny how that oh another rigged regal stacker goal. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed like he was clicking stuff in the background and he didn't know who it was. He was like, uh, yeah, Silver Limey 79, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, I guess he must be an Englishman. So, you know, to be fair, he, um, it, he must have done it some way. I could certainly hear him clicking things in the background. But, you know, I suppose it's great when you win something unexpectedly. Uh, yeah, so let's go over those prizes. Um, is, is David still around? Uh, is David Carlisle still still in the house? Well, uh, well done. Congrats on all the subs. Yeah, man. Um Thank you all very much. Moosock says, I don't know if you ever realise you, but you won my 250 goal redraw, but you never contacted me. So David Gargle, oh man. <laughs> oh, well, Moosox, um, well, I'm glad it went to David. Um, man, okay. Did I win that first prize? 
Um, blue socks, man. Okay, well, sometimes you have to give a little. Uh, right, so David Carlisle. Yep, that's your prize, but it's the Incus one ounce silver maple leaf. It's a 2018, so it's got the silver shield tech, apparently, which is um, reduces the appearances of milk spots. Five dollar face value. Oops. One of my favourites, Incus. It's a double Incus, actually, not just a single Incus. So it's the double as well. So the queen on the back is Incused into the coin. Um, and then, of course, you've got the uh, Irish one penny. 1942. Congratulations there, David. Is Samantha, is Samantha still here? So I must say, it was great to pull prizes out for everyone that was actually... That was actually in the in the stream as well. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, but thanks, uh, Samantha Gilson. Uh, Melistex says um, I played IS videos uh, for my dogs. I remember which videos I've watched. And maples are the foundation of my stack. Yeah, very cool. Um, well, if Samantha's not there, we'll just show her prize off. So she went. Uh, she won the normal uh, standard maple leaf. Just love the detail on that maple leaf. It's just fantastic. One ounce. Yeah, the maple leaves are definitely grown on me. Um, initially, when I first collected them, I, I thought the designs were a bit boring. But there was two things that, that made me stack this. And obviously, one being four nines fine. Um, and the face value to start with. Um, and then it sort of just grew on me, the, the radial lines and that. And then, and then the maple leaf in the center. Very nice piece. And then we've got the Irish penny. 1948. Right, and uh, then we've got uh, CNR Treasures. Um, I don't think CNR Treasures is in uh, is is here. And he won the the Aztec Copper Round or the Aztec Dragon Copper Round. Oh, that's a. Uh, Inverted access. You gotta flip it overhead. Um, pull the dragons. Fine copper. Beautiful. Nice piece. And the half penny. Sorry, I'm gonna move that away because. There we go. There's the half penny. Irish half penny. Metal Sharks won the the last one. This is the Kumatak, the last Aztec um, Emperor, and the Aztec calendar on the back. The detail on this piece is just phenomenal. How they made that it must have taken the engraver forever to to make that die. Wow! And then we've got the half penny as well. The Irish half penny. It's nice to get something from uh, a different country, I suppose. Uh, right, and then finally, Mellow Stacker with the stream prize, the Standing Liberty. Type three. I'll be sending that to you. So don't forget to send me a, um, an email, silverlimey. 79 at gmail.com. There's the email there, and I'll send you the password to put into the comment. Guys, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, to host the uh, the. Um, thank you all very much for spending your uh, your time there. It says most goals aren't this as organised. <laughs> Cheers, me for the effort. Next stop, 1K. Thanks, Ronald. I really appreciate the comment. Rick, triple zero. Uh, Tom says my bad. Um, get dinner on Limey. Uh, Stephen Heath. <laughs> uh, sorry I'm late. Uh, what is did I win? Doctor Who. Hey buddy, how are you doing? We're just we're just wrapping up here now. You'll have to check the uh, the playbacks there in regards to the uh, the prizes. Um we've got Clayton um uh, Country History says thank you, sir. Excellent giveaway, congratulations. Um guys, thank you all very much. I'll be posting some more videos over the next couple of days. Um, I'm gonna go out there and watch some videos as well. I've got plenty of other videos to to keep uh, to keep an eye on. Up to 48 likes, guys! Thank you very much. Uh, fantastic, really. 48 likes, nearly 50 likes. I'm over the moon. 
Um, Moose Sark says, great giveaway, Silver Line is 79. Um, I hope you have uh, good luck again on any future goals. Um, yeah, I'll cross my fingers. <laughs> Sometimes you're better off just entering goals. And, well, unfortunately, I missed I missed out on yours. I didn't claim it. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I suppose... I suppose that's what's about having a community and, you know, occasionally people will let you know if something pops up. But uh, thanks again. My moderators, uh, Blazing Dude, uh, Mary Love, thank you very much. Um, Coin Collector as well, he was he was in earlier. Uh, thank you all very much. And um, Bullion Bouncer as well, he was in. Just thanks very much for helping out with the chat. Um, really appreciate you all. Guys, I'll see you on the next goal. I'm going to do another goal. A surprise goal in between now and a 1,000. And then it's the big one. And uh, the 1,000 subscriber goal, just to reiterate, this is going to be the main prize. And it's number 105. Prize value on this is over $300 at least. Um, limited to 500 So this is going to be an awesome prize. Keep an eye on it. You don't want to miss out on that 1,000. And um, just... Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you all. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of the afternoon as well, like it's early evening. You guys are still with me. Uh, David Connor says, can you explain the verification process? No problem. Um, all you're gonna do is um, send me a screenshot that I'm sub, well, you're sub to my channel, so that's easy enough to do. Um, you'll see where it says subscribe, it'll be in gray. Um, and then I'll send you a password that you need to comment on this video. I will obviously instruct you in regards to the email once I get your email. I'll reply to it and tell you exactly what to do. Once I have that, we're done. And then I can get your prize out to you in the post. Uh, yeah, have a great uh, weekend, guys. Uh, it's you know early days for yourselves there in America. And um, again, my counterparts in Europe, um, Sheffield, uh, Stephen Heath. Um, thanks all very much. Well, there we go. 6 a.m. breakfast, apparently Ronald Trump says. <laughs> Ronald Trump. Uh, email is sent, David says. Um, just some shout-outs for you guys here. Clayton Count, uh, County History Hound, thanks very much. we got Rick T, Triple Zero, Tom, Ronald Thump, David Carlisle, Mary Love, Sherry Nelson. Uh, thanks very much. I'm glad I'm glad it was fun. It was fun to watch. Thank you. we got Mellow Stacker, Jeremy Saunders. Um, I meant Stephen, Stephen Heath. We've got Blazing Doob, Andre G. He, he had to go. I'm not sure if he's still there, but Andre, thanks very much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Uh, Metal Sharks. Uh, Doctor Who, Michael Mullins. Where did you get that coin with the pig on it? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, they're Irish, Irish coins. Um, Jeremy Saunders We've got pennies, pennies to Benji's San. And that's as far as I'll go. Guys, thanks very much. Um, I look forward to seeing your content. Um, and again, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're still watching this after the fact and um any comments down below thanks again guys have a great evening and i'll get the stuff out to the post next week my subscriptions are public apparently david says um sherry nelson i don't know how to check my subscriptions um you, yeah effectively you can just go into um you've got settings you can either make them public it's up to you obviously once you make them public all your uh, all the subscriptions will show up then Otherwise, you can just do a print screenshot. So, for instance, if you go to my channel, um, if you're and you do a print screen there, um, that it'll where it says it'll say subscribed. You can do a print screenshot of that. Um, effectively, sorry, that's that's me just saying. Um, that is probably the easiest way there, David. Um, just go to my channel, do a print screenshot, start with that, and then I'll send you the password. Guys, thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next video.